Hey, good afternoon. Jim Davis here from the Fluke Network's Technical Assistance Center. I want to talk about some of the interesting new features that are available in our latest firmware, version 6.5 for the version platform. First thing that I want to talk about is that we can now connect our FI3000 camera directly to Versive. And we're going to use that to show a demonstration of how we can now measure power in the 1490 nanometer wavelength. Of course, before we connect our fiber, we want to inspect and make sure that it's working well. So, I'm just going to put this little adapter on here, plug it in, we'll push test to start, and small image, but let's analyze this and we're going to auto focus and auto center and let us know if this connector is pass. It's good. It's clean. So now, in order to show the 1490 wavelength, 1490 is interesting because if we're doing a passive optical network, the OLT on the far end is transmitting generally in 1490, so that's the wavelength we want to measure. I'm going to change my test from a fiber inspection test to a calling this a far end source test where I'm just going to measure power through the power meter. Notice I have an APC connector going into the power meter, but I need a 1490 source. Turns out the Simplifiber Pro makes a 1490 and 1625 source. So we'll be able to show two things at once. Now I'm going to go into the tools menu here and from the tools menu, I'm going to select power meter and I will select wavelength. Now, because this is a simplifiber, I could go to auto simplifiber and measure both 1490 and 1625, but I'd like to pretend that it's an OLT on the far end. So I'm going to select the 1490 wavelength. And now this is showing me dBm absolute power, 0.47 dBm. I'm actually getting quite a bit of light through there with some passive optical networks that may be too much. We might need to put a splitter in there. Okay, we've got customers who have been buying Versive units for years. And originally, we had the Versive Original or a V1 unit as we call it in the factory. And now with version 6.5 firmware, you can connect a V2 to a V1 unit. Now it's been brought to my attention that some people would like to have two screens. Not sure why, I think you're gonna burn through a lot of battery. It might be because with a single-ended test, we can push test and, oh no, we're not finding the remote since it's not connected. I'm gonna push measure here and that's gonna tell me the distance to where the cable is open. This cable's open about 14 meters away. Now let's plug in. We'll get the happy noise. Now, in order for the main to work as a remote, let's go to the home screen. We'll go to the tools menu. We'll say main is a remote. Don't need to reboot or anything. I'll push test on the remote. And here we are running a test from a version two to a version one unit. Hey, look, it passed. All right, so we've taken a look at version 6.5. With version 6.5, we can see the FI3000 connected to the Versive screen, now with the single fiber adapter. We're able to measure power with the CertiFiber Pro APC connector in the 1490, in the 1490, in 1625 wavelength, and we're able to have a version one unit talk to a version two unit. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen, please, We'll take likes all day long. And for more information, click on the link below me. Have a good afternoon. <laughs>